Hi guys, today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you how to play the game The Grass is Greener. Now this is a card game and the object of the game is you're going to be trying to score the most amount of points by building decorations and trees and things like that on your lawn. Now you're also going to have different types of cards that you can use to play on your opponent's yards that can impair his lawn and there's also action cards and garage cards and a whole lot of other things. So this is basically a game that is themed on lawns. So let's check it out. So this is a very simple game and the object of the game is you're going to be trying to uh, get the most amount of points. Um, the way you're going to be getting the most amount of points is you're going to be trying to build things here on your lawn. Each player is going to be receiving three sod cards, and on these sod cards, you're going to be able to put three cards um, on each of them, so you'll have a total of nine cards. Um, now, you can also play cards on your opponent's side uh, that are going to basically uh, impair his lawn, and you can also do the same to you. So I'm just going to show you some of the different types of cards there are. First are going to be the improvement cards, and I'm going to just show you a few of them. There's a whole bunch of different ones in here of each type. But here's one. This one is the obnoxiously oversized patriotic flag. Um, as you can see, it is worth three points, and that will be just something you would be able to play on your lawn like so. Um, there's also going to be these little symbols over here. This will just tell you the type of card that it is. And here is a list of the different types of cards that are available in the game. Um, right here is another one. This is a tree. This one's worth two. Or Some of these are going to have little requirements on here as well. So you'll only be able to put a certain amount of these cards on your sod. Uh, here's another one. This is the bird bath. Uh, this one says if there's a tree attached to this plot, the bird bath is two. Otherwise, the bird path is one. So if I ended up having something like this, uh, the bird bath would be worth two because I have this improvement card over here. So those are the improvement cards. Now the opposite of these are going to be what are called the impairment cards. And these are going to be cards that you're going to be able to play on your opponent's lawn. Um, here's an example. This one is the lovely litter box. Uh, this one says if there's a garden attached to this plot, it's worth negative two, otherwise negative one. Uh, but anyway, they're going to have negative values on here. So uh, here's another one. This is the poison yard. Um, this one says it's negative one unless it's attached to artificial turf, which is a type of uh, lawn card, which I'll show you. So my opponent could play something like this on here, and this would actually take up one of the three cards that I would be able to play on the plot. Now there are some cards that will allow you to remove these but you just have to end up getting them. Up next are the plot upgrades. These are cards that will allow you to upgrade your plot. Uh, this is artificial turf and it'll also have some uh, little requirements on here. And what you'll do if you decide to play this, you'll just simply remove the sod card and then you'll just go ahead and place the plot upgrade like so. If there happened to be a card on this, I would just go ahead and uh, put that card back onto the new plot. Here's another one. This one's Rockery. Um, it also has a little bits of rules on here. So all these cards are going to have little rules and just little things as far as how to play them and everything. And you also have the garage cards. And these are cards that if you play them, they're going to go next to your uh, plot. These are motion lights. These can help uh, prevent sabotages to your lawn. This one is a bypass the water meter. Um, this one will give you bonus points for each sod in your yard. And the last type of card you have are what are called petty schemes. And these are action cards that you're going to be able to play. Uh, this one says remove and discard one tacky improvement from any yard. And then this one is a backpack floor. This one says steal random card from each neighbor's hand. And then we have scorched earth. This one remove and discard all attached improvements and impairments from any one plot. So this could be used to help get rid of some impairments. And then finally what you have are you have the HOA board members. And you're going to go ahead and draw one of these and you're going to place it uh, in the game. and. These members are basically going to have uh, different prerequisites in order to score points with them. So for Richard here, he's got plus one for every plant, plus one for each do-it-yourself fertilizer, and plus one for every card at the end of the game in your hand. Now, whenever you play, you're going to have three different actions that you can do, and that's either draw or play a card. So you can do three draws, three plays, or a combination of both. You're also going to have a community pile over here of three cards, so you can draw from here or here. And uh, I'll go ahead and start. Let's just set aside. I'm going to look and play the pressure washer for my garage. It has these little rules here. So I'll put that there. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw the artificial turf and one of these. And I got an inflatable. So then it's going to go to my opponent. Let's just say my opponent decides he wants to play a lovely litter box over here on my plot. How nice of him. Uh, and then uh, let's just say he also wants to play uh, this crabgrass card on me like so. And then he's going to go ahead and draw a card. So he'll draw a card and then it goes back to me. Now, if you have more than seven cards in your hand, you're going to have to discard down to f less than that. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and look at my card here. Uh, I've got artificial turf. Let's just say I decide I'm going to go ahead and play this here. 
because this is going to go ahead and get rid of the negative points with the crabgrass. So I'll play that there for my first. I'll go ahead and play an improvement card over here. This is an inflatable, um, and this will give you points depending on how many inflatables you have. And for my last turn, I'll go ahead and draw a card. But anyway, that's basically the way the game goes. It's just going to go back and forth like this. The game is going to immediately end once one player has three cards on each of his plots. And then what you do is you're just going to go ahead and score up all the cards. Of course, you'll use uh, Richard here to add up some points as well. And whoever has the most amount of points at the end of the game is going to win. And the winner of the game is going to get this Yard of the Month gnome over here. So you'll win the Yard of the Month. Neat gnome. Get off my lawn! So this is a very simple game to learn. You're just simply going to be drawing cards. Uh, you're going to be looking at the cards that you have. They've got different scoring conditions on them. They've got different things that you can do. Um, and they also have different ways that you can try to get rid of cards if you need to. Uh, so they have a lot of different options as far as playing cards and scoring cards and what you want to do. Do you want to play an improvement card on your lawn? Do you want to play an impairment card on your opponent's lawn? Do you want to play a garage card? And, uh, you know, you're also looking at the uh, person in the HOA to see if you can satisfy what they want. And there's a whole bunch of different AO HOA cards and all the different types of cards. There's a whole bunch of different cards in here. And this is a game that is very light. And it's a fun game if you like light games. I think this would be a good game for families. I think uh, maybe some older kids could probably get into this game or anybody that has an affinity for lawns. The game does have some humor in it when you look at the bottoms of some of the cards, especially when you're <laughs> dropping poop onto your opponent's lawn. That's a little bit mean, but hey, what are you going to do? It's a battle for the lawns, baby. I think anybody who likes games like that are simple and light and easy to learn would enjoy it. All right, guys. That's my review of The Grass is Greener. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming.